If you've been looking for something that can capture video from any streaming device, including your Fire Stick, your Apple TV, your Android TV box, and do it in 4K, you've come to the right place. Today, I'm gonna show you how to do that, and it's so easy that you're not gonna believe it. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. This is the Cloner Alliance UHD Pro 4K video recorder. It's a really long name for an easy to use device. You just plug in your streaming device into the HDMI port on the back. Then plug in an HDMI cable coming out of the device and then plug it into your TV or your monitor. After that, just turn it on and get ready to see what this thing can do. Now first, make sure you attach some kind of storage device to the video recorder. I'm going to use a 32 gigabyte USB drive plugged directly into the side, but you can also just use an external hard drive if you want to. Now I'm going to start with my Fire Stick plugged in to give you an idea of this box's versatility. You'll see I'm on the Fire Stick home screen. So what I'm going to do is take the remote that comes with the unit, and there's a simple button up the top here that says record stop. Now let me show you, it's right here. So I'm just going to hit it to record. You'll see it's starting up. Now I'm going to scroll across on my home screen. I'm going to go over to Pluto TV. Let's start that up. And I'm just going to record a few seconds here. Just to give you an idea that it can record whatever is going into that HDMI port. I'm going to scroll down, show you what's on right now. And then go back to the home screen. Now I'm, you'll see it's still recording with that little button up the top, which you can get rid of. You don't have to see it displayed on your screen, but it won't show up in the playback. Now I'm gonna hit that record stop button one more time, and it's gonna stop recording. Now there's another button on the remote that says video. So I'm just gonna hit the video button, and that's gonna bring up that recording that I just made. Now you can delete it if you want to. There's a delete button also on the remote. Which, which brings up this little box, confirm, delete. I'm gonna say no. And I'm gonna click on the video and we're gonna watch what I just recorded. So here we are back on the home screen. You, you can see it scrolling across the Pluto TV. Clicks on that. See, my hands are free. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. It's doing it all on its own. This is the actual recording. and then it's gonna go back to the home screen. Now to get out of it, you just hit the back button. You go back and now I'm gonna delete it by hitting the delete button, scroll over, confirm yes, click on it, and it's gone. Then again, go use the back button. Now the back button comes in really handy. If you're in a screen and you can't seem to get out of it, just hit that back button. Now another thing it has, when you hit the menu button, it's gonna bring up this pop-up, which shows you the record settings. And if you go into record, you can see the formats here. It records in both H.264 and H.265, which is the newer format. And bit rate, we also have low and high. I leave it on high. I've done tests on both low and high. Uh, high is definitely better and uh, I don't have any problems recording 4K in high with either H.264 or H.265. Now here's where you can turn off that, that record, uh, you know, button, the red button up the top of your screen if you want to. And then this is gonna be your maximum file size. So it starts at two gigabyte, four gigabyte, and then 16 gigabyte. Now, I'm just gonna leave time watermark and loop recording off. And then we go back and schedule settings. You can go in here, you can schedule. So I leave it off. I'm not gonna use it as a, as a time recorder. You can use it as a time recorder or as a replacement for a DVR if you want to. I'm just gonna leave that off. We'll go back. Now we're gonna look at the system settings. Now you can see it's in English. You can set the time here. I don't have it set currently, but you can, this is where you would set it. 
playback loop is a single file. Reset, I'm not gonna touch that. And let's go back and go in the video playback. Now, this is where your videos would show up if you had any. Uh, I, of course, deleted the one that I just recorded. And then finally, you've got photo playback. I'm not gonna do anything with photos on this. But if you go into photo playback, if you have files on your uh, external hard drive, you can play them through here. Two years ago, I reviewed their previous recording device, the Cloner Alliance Box Pro. This was another great versatile all-in-one video recording box, but it only recorded up to 1080p. You can still buy it on Cloner Alliance website, and it still does a really nice job. But the interface is a little bit clunkier, and it's a little bit harder to navigate than the new box. With the new updated version, you can record up to 4K, and the interface is really user-friendly. You can also record from anything with an HDMI output. That includes your Apple TV, your Fire Stick, your Fire TV, your Fire TV Cube, your Android TV box, your Xbox or PlayStation. And yes, you can record all of your gaming sessions and save them for a later time in MP4 format. You can edit them, you can upload them to YouTube, or you can just save them for later. There are also other significant improvements with the new box. On the old version, you had to press a button on the remote to toggle between 720p and 1080p. It wasn't that hard to do, but on the new version, it automatically detects the signal that's coming into it, whether it be 1080p or 4K. Now you can tell what the input signal is if the top light is solid green, like it is now. Now you'll see if I switch to a 4K signal, that solid green light will blink green and blue until it turns to a solid blue. Now we're recording in 4K. Now, if you watched my channel before, you know that I don't care that much about the technical specs. What I wanna know about is the real world performance. Now, don't get me wrong, the specs still have to be good. But what really matters to me is the actual day-to-day -day use in real life of the product that you're gonna be purchasing. So here's some of the things that you may wanna know before you buy. Number one, it's a standalone 4K video recorder. Number two, it supports both the H.264 codec and the H.265 codec, which is newer and takes up less space on the hard drive. Number three, it has instant 4K playback on your TV. Plus, you can remove the thumb drive or whatever external hard drive you have attached, and you can move those files off of the hard drive onto your computer where you can edit them and save them for later use. Plus, the recorder is also very easy to use. Plus, it supports different formats on your external hard drives. Things like XFAT, NTFS, FAT, or FAT32. As far as compatible video devices, it supports a lot of them. In fact, anything that has an HDMI out you can plug into this recorder and record from. Things like DVRs, set-top boxes, cable TV receivers, satellite receivers, over-the-air receivers, DSLRs, camcorders, DVD players, gaming consoles, laptops, basically anything with an HDMI out. I'll leave a link in the description below if you wanna take a closer look. If this video helped you out, consider smashing the like button and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. This is Rich Man. I'll see you in my next video.